Whoa! Whoa! That's the Ferrari, I believe. It is. And that's Dale. Jeremy Dale is in the number two car. Literally cut it in half. Serious accident here. Main pit straight block. Yellow flags out all on the course. Everybody onto the grass. And the question now will be oh. whether or not there shouldn't be a red flag, and I'm not so sure that that wouldn't right. be accurate. Checking drivers, make sure they're okay. Red flag comes out. So they are going to stop the run here. Thank goodness for that. We can see movement in that car. That's Fabrizio Barbato. The car cut in half. What a well, it, and, and the team that had their primary car wrecked. Now here is the car that they rebuilt, did a lot of rebuilding. Oh, we've got two Somebody cars. Somebody got into it over on the left edge there. There's two cars crashed on the left, which made uh, Barbazza spin, and Jeremy Dale was moving away from the two cars that he could see on his left and just nailed it amidships. Good grief. I don't think I've ever seen a crash as violent as that. Frightening crash. Of course, we'll be very careful here, make sure we know exactly what's happened in terms of uh, how drivers' conditions are. They do have a magnificent medical response team, actually a Porsche with two doctors on board, one of them Jay Phelan, who is uh, an expert at auto racing, and of course one of the drivers licensed to drive a high-speed car, one of the doctors, and they know exactly what to do here. We'll see. Now that's Barbazza in the yellow 50 Ferrari spinning, and Jeremy, Jeremy Dale just flat center punches the car. But apparently the setup of this was Ray Hendrick's car over to the left and out of view, spun, then Barbazza spun to avoid that while Dale was moving to avoid debris. Oh. That's the most devastating onboard camera I think I have ever seen. And Frightening. You can see Dale's head hit the dashboard then, and you just think how tight those seat belts are and how stiff it just shows the severity of that horrendous impact. Poor Jeremy Dale was caught between the devil and the deep blue sea there. He could really, first of all, saw the accident happening on his left, where the two GTS2 cars were plowing up the banking on the left. He swerved to avoid those tires rolling out in front of him. And of course, unfortunately, Barbatz's car was spinning, and instead of spinning to the right like it might have done, it suddenly reversed direction, and Jeremy nailed it right amidships. You can see the accident scenes, two of them. That would be Dale's accident on the left, and over on the right, Barbatz's. So as the extrication on both Dale and Barbatza continues. Now let's go back and take a look at that onboard camera, Jeremy. just gave you an idea of the severity of that crash. Up, just completely cut the Ferrari in half. Right, here it is, David. Well, there you see the two GTS2 cars that spun and collected each other. Fabrizio Barbazza spun to avoid them. Jeremy Dale was completely unsighted. He could really see the accident unfolding on his left. And I think he missed Barbazza altogether from his vision. And of course, swerved to miss the tires rolling across the road and got Barbazza absolutely amidships, causing extensive damage to both cars and to both drivers. Jeremy Dale was evacuated by medical helicopter. Yellow flag flew almost immediately on the accident on the outside of the circuit. The rapid response vehicle was dispatched from the pit exit, which was just beyond the accident. But remember in Indianapolis in 1973, that's where the emergency rapid response vehicle would have come from, would have had to gone all the way around the course because he cannot make a right turn, remembering that tragic fatality at Indianapolis in 73 when a fire truck went the wrong way down the pit. So that's always been the concern. The conditions right now, as we continue under the red flag, Jeremy Dale has um, a concussion. He is uh, said to be conscious, though, stable, and fractures to both legs. Fabrizio Barbazza was transported by ground ambulance, said to be alert, possible fractures to arm and legs. Thanks, Chuck.